So one thing that I have been meaning to make pretty much since I had James, maybe a couple of weeks after I had him, was basically just a video on how kind of my perception of the world has changed since becoming a mother. When you have a baby, your feelings towards your baby are not something that could ever be described in words in a way that is understandable by everybody else. It's just the love that you have for that child, it's transcends everything. It's greater than anything you've ever experienced. And I got a lot of flack for that in the beginning, you know. Um, I used to post pictures of James on my Facebook when I had one, and this is one of the reasons why I deleted my Facebook, was just I got a lot of flack for writing things like, I've never known a love like this before. And some people said, oh, you should love your husband more than you love your son and you you should know a love like this before and just a lot of people picked apart what i said as if i meant bad things by it but i truly do mean that um, the love that you have for your child is something you have never experienced before and i don't know if you could ever experience for anybody else the love that you have for your child it doesn't mean that i don't love alex it doesn't mean that i don't love the rest of my family or anything like that it doesn't mean that i love him more than anybody else it just is a different love than i've ever experienced before in my life it's this love of this innocent person this life that has never done any wrong and it's this incredible feeling you'll never know until you get there. It's really crazy because I didn't expect becoming a mother to change my opinion of other people around me or change my opinion of the world, but it really did. And it made me wonder how, I don't know, how a lot of people who are mothers do and say the things that they do. And I'll explain why. This thought came with two things, with two different experiences really. The first one was having James and realizing how much I love him and how I feel about him. And the second one was when my dad's best friend died. He passed away maybe two months after James was born and I went to his funeral with James and his mother was there. You know, I'd always heard the expression that it's very, very sad when a mother outlives her children or it's very, very sad to bury your children or things like that. But I went to my dad's friend's funeral and I saw his mother there and after I left the funeral, I came home and I had James on his change table. I felt an overwhelming amount of pain for this woman who was burying her son at the same moment that I was changing my son's diaper. And you know, this guy was like 55 or 56 years old. That's all that I ever knew him as. I only ever knew him as a guy who was 30 years older than me, you know, he was my dad's best friend. He was not my age, I never knew him as a child, I could not ever have related to him being a child or a baby or anything like that, but I come home and I'm changing James's diaper, and I'm thinking about the fact that this woman raised this man since he was a baby. She took him home from the hospital and she loved him and she, she changed his diaper and she raised him and she did everything with him that I'm gonna do with James. And she has all of these memories from doing these things over his lifetime. And I just, I burst out crying while I was changing James because I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe that this woman who loves someone as much as I love James was burying him in a box in the ground. You know, and, and it kind of ties in with what I wanted to make this video about because I guess becoming a mother gave me this whole new perspective on everybody, you know. I look at James and, you know, I'm filled with all of these these feelings of, of love and all of these emotions and all of these, you know, these desires for his life to be amazing and beautiful and for good things to happen for him and for people to treat him nicely and stuff like that. And knowing how I feel about him and what I want for him and knowing that every person in the world has a mother who felt like that about them, it almost just, it just gave me this overwhelming desire to just treat everybody the way that their mother would have wanted them to be treated. And I don't know if I'm putting that into words correctly or anything like that, but it's kind of like, you know, I looked at Alex and 
he's my husband and I love him and you know he's my best friend and I there are so many different ways that I feel about him but at the same time when I see him interacting with James I feel so much more love for him I feel you know this different kind of love that I never felt for him before because he loves the thing that I love the person that I love just as much as I do you know and then on top of that I have all of these feelings that like that Alex's mother at one time felt the exact same way about him as I feel about James, you know? And she only wanted good things for him in his life and she only wanted people to treat him really well and really nicely and she wanted him to grow up and have a really great family life and have a wife who loves him and treats him really well, you know? My, my feelings that I have for the life that I want James to have are the way that I should be treating everybody else in my life. I've never been a mean person or a malicious person or someone who went out of my way to hurt other people. I've always lived with the philosophy that what you do in life doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you want to be, what you want to do, what you want to wear. You can do whatever you want with your life as long as you do not ever intentionally hurt somebody else. And I really, really have tried hard to live by that since I was like, 16 or 17 years old. Somehow, having a baby has just made me so much more aware of how I treat people and what I do because I just want to treat everybody the way that I want James to be treated, if you guys understand what I mean. I really feel like becoming a mom has made me a better person. I want for everybody what their moms wanted for them. It kind of makes me wonder. It makes me wonder like, what it is that is still inside of other people that can make them so nasty, you know what I mean? I, I don't understand how, I don't know, how women can talk about other women and treat them the way that they do and try and break them and bring them down like they do when they have daughters or when they have sons. How can you go out of your way to attack another woman and hurt another woman and try and make her feel bad when you have a daughter and you know that you would never want someone to do that to your daughter. I know that there are people who watch my videos who don't like me and I know because I've seen things written about me, I've had comments posted under my videos, I've had per people create YouTube accounts and create email accounts just so that they could send me emails about how much my very existence bothers them, you know, and for those people, I know that they're going to watch this video and they're going to come up with some reason why I'm actually a really horrible person and I'm, you know, some spiteful, malicious reason why I'm putting this video out there on the internet. But if there's one person who takes a message from this and that changes one thing that they do that would have hurt another person, then I've made this video for a good reason. And I just wanted to put it out there the way that I feel. And if that changes the way that anybody else feels about how they act, how they treat other people, how they look at the world, and that's a good thing. Really, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to say that having James has changed the way that I feel about everybody around me, and it's changed the way that I act towards everyone around me, and it hasn't made me a perfect person. You know, it doesn't mean that I will never do anything wrong again. It just means that at least once or twice, I'm going to put a little bit more thought into the way that I treat somebody else. Whatever you guys get out of this, I hope it's a good thing. And I guess that's all I really wanted to say.